The Yukon Huskies are Big East Tournament champions for the fourth time in program history, and we are joined by their best of the best, Kyler Fedko, the star right fielder. Kyler, congratulations. What is it about this group that responded from the early loss to finish out a championship? We just never quit. Honestly, we never quit. I mean, we were down in that game, one nothing, And then Coach Penders brought us together, and we just responded. We love competing. We love playing with each other. We play for each other. That's the biggest thing is we play for each other. Coach Penders called you guys together during this game yep. when you were down to Xavier. Yep. What was the message? The message was very simple. It was just have fun. That was it. He thought we were trying to trying to do too much of the moment, which was honestly very true. I mean, we're not a, a shutout shutout team, um, so he just he just emphasized have fun. Like this is a championship game. We've put in the work. We've earned it to have fun, and he just said just let it eat, just let it rip. In the return year for the UConn Huskies for the Big East, how extra special is it to be champions? Unbelievable. It is an unbelievable feeling. I mean, all the hard work that we've had to do, the COVID stuff we've had to overcome. Just all the adversity, it paid off. But in the end of the day, we, we still have work to do. This is not the end goal. Congratulations, Warden. You. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. All right, let's send it over to Mike Schmoltz with Jim Penders. Here with the Huskies head coach, Jim Penders. Jim, you talked about this being your neighborhood. You moved out for a little bit, about seven years, came back. What's the feeling like in this in this setting to come back and win the championship your first time back? Well, it's good to be back. We don't do anything the easy way, and nothing in this whole year has been easy for this ball club. Um, and, and you know, it, it, it was fitting that it was Xavier. I mean, these guys fight you just tooth and nail. Billy O'Connor does an amazing job. His kids are warriors. He should be really proud of his ball club. I'm, I'm sure that he is. And those kids over in that dugout should be proud of their effort. I mean, they were going to fight till the last, you know, I mean, the last out. It was the last strike. Um, they're just wearing us out. You know, it's just like, please, some, somebody do something, make a play to finish this up. And, Caleb Worcester was awesome. Uh, we extended him. He was tired, but I didn't want to take him out. He deserved that moment. Describe your journey to get here. There were times in COVID where you didn't see your players. There were times in COVID when you didn't know if you'd have enough games to get in. What did this team show you during this journey to the championship? Well, just resilience, and I'm sure it's true of a lot of teams this year. You know, it was just, it, it's unlike anything we've ever been through in our, in our country or our world, really. I mean, it's, it's been a uh, really arduous journey, you know, but I just wish these kids knew how much I need them, you know, and that, that's, it's just a really special group of kids, and uh, I'm just so proud of them. I'm so happy for them. You know, it's just, uh, it was a long time, a long journey. We didn't even meet our freshmen until the end of October because they all got COVID within the first two weeks. Then we have the stoppage. We're not even probably in the tournament if Billy O'Connor doesn't move this the series to, so that he accommodated us so that we could get back off of COVID and played Monday and Tuesday. So, um, you know, it's... Uh, it's amazing that we're here right now and, and uh, a credit to these young men and how hard they work and uh, their resilience and just toughness and grit. You know, we pride ourselves being from the Northeast of being tough and tough and gritty and, and they personify that. Coach, thank you very much. Congratulations.